what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'm letting folks know, like, I do this on my own. Just like I do everything else on my own. Like, like my whole thing, our whole thing, what I'm standing on is the PRE. Yeah. You know what I mean? Paper route, Empire, solid. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it ain't nobody out here moving like this. Nobody. I don't care who you name it. I'm in the business smoking more. Hey, rock. Hey. Pocket full of mother. Blue, blue, guap. Alright, my boy Miguel here is a little handicapped right now. You gonna you gonna tell everybody what happened, bro? Or you just wanna keep that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> just be safe around guns. <laughs> <laughs> so everything that happens to the best, yeah. right? You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what happened, but he got hurt and uh, he's been off from work for a couple of couple of weeks, so that's why we haven't seen Miguel every time we come over here to KHP. But good thing is that he got this little nice dolly. Got and, uh, <laughs> they tan, but it keeps them clean though. Yeah. So, uh, what, a couple of more weeks like this? Hopefully. And you're good? Yeah, I got an appointment next week for a follow. Let's see what they show me. There you go, there you go. Well, right here at KHP, guys, we're gonna be talking about, not gun safety, but we're gonna be talking about Takashi. What happened to Takashi? I haven't been the same since the last time I seen it. I've been missing that truck. And it's kind of weird because usually that truck sits here or it sits behind the shop and I don't really miss that truck. But I just felt like that truck was away from me. You know yeah, what I mean? Like I just it, felt, you know what I mean? And I was, you know, we were stressing why the truck hasn't been on the boat. It was literally over there for a month, Frank. It feels that way. It, it was up for a month. It really was a month, huh? Yeah. So the thing is that the truck was broke. It didn't turn on, so they couldn't just load it up on the boat that easy. So they had to wait to put it on a forklift and then put it on a container and then put it on the boat. So that took forever. And this is when we went to Puerto Rico. So the truck just literally got back from Puerto Rico and uh, we're gonna be checking it out. Well, I'm gonna be checking it out for the first time because I know Alex and Acosta picked it up. Uh, how does it look? Is it looking good shape? It's all right. It's, it's, all in, the right? it's in the uh, process, Don't tell me that, bro. bro. It's in the process, bro. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go check it out. Let's go check it out, man. We haven't been here in a while. We haven't been here in a couple of months. Well, no, about a month and a half. About a month since Takashi left. Yeah, pretty much. Butterflies. Mm. Okay, so it looks it looks pretty good. It don't, it don't look too bad. I mean, the truck's been through some, you know, it's been through the hill and back. I was thinking it was gonna be rusty because it was next to the ocean for a whole month. Yeah, with no hood, no nothing, nothing, yeah. not even a tarp covering it up. Okay. It was just out and, in the and, open. And usually it rains in Puerto Rico every other day, so I'm sure everything got wet. Hopefully, all the electronics are good. If not, we're gonna have to, you know, switch some stuff up. Check out the rear. Okay. Oh, uh, it don't look too bad. Uh, it looks good. A little rust here and there. This was already there. It was kind of burnt. Oh, the exhaust is it's rust on the exhaust. And even though that stainless steel, you just see Freddy's truck. It's worse? Oh, well, his truck is all steel. Oh, yeah, that thing is all steel. So that one's all rusted too. So once uh, when we were in the process of bringing it back, uh, we picked up Freddy's truck to the green machine, which that's the truck that he had the accident over there. And uh, we, we brought it over here to Houston. And as soon as this one got back, we brought it over here with you guys. So you guys are checking out the wires and stuff like that? Yeah, we're having an issue right now that we're not getting any spark to the engine. So we're, uh, we already installed the new fuel pump. We're uh -huh. replacing the fuel pump because the other one got fried. That's what we're trying to trace. If it was like a wire bug or what, I don't know if it was a, uh, cause you hadn't set it on fire right away, right? No, okay. no, no, we actually did a burnout. And then we were gonna do another burnout. It kind of did a little burnout on the second round and then it just shut off on me. And that was it. It never wanted to turn it back on. We try to do, we're not mechanicals, not, you know, whatsoever. Uh, but we try to run the fuel pump directly, you know, give it power. And we were getting a little bit of fuel pressure on the Harley but it was a little bit of pressure and then and it was out, zero. So I don't know if the pump was bad or maybe some electrical problem. We're trying to trace right now to see if that had anything to do with the reason why we're not getting spark now. Okay. Hopefully it's not something serious, uh, but that's what they've been messing with all morning. Okay, okay. Come on, Bucky, is here. What's up? I'm on the phone, mira que andamos batallando con Miguel, que... No. Que... Si, gun safety. Como ves? Que tiene la torquita, está fallando, que? Pues ya, ya estamos, ya está enfocado en ella, que no, este... Que le ha llegado hasta ahorita, estamos? Se quemó la bomba. Se quemó la bomba, ok. Esa fue una de las cosas que estábamos pensando. Pero causó que, que quemara algo más, porque ahorita no tenemos... Eh, Sp Spark. Spark. Oh, okay. Sí, es lo que ando checando ahorita. Es que siento yo que ya tocaba una falla. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí, güey, o sea... tanto lumbre y de, tanto del Sí, madre. y esta madre no se raja y se vino a rajar allá en Puerto Rico. Freddy chocó y este no jaló y esta siempre jala. Sí. ¿sí me y Freddy nunca choca. Ajá. 
Ándale, o sea, bien. Freddy es profesional en, en, lo, en lo que hace y esta vez le tocó esta. esta vez le tocó y a nosotros se nos chingó este pero pues ya le tocaba la falla lo malo es de que nos you know, la falla fue en Puerto Rico y el problema es de que no podían subirla al, al, al barco porque ya no, no, pues no jalaba la troca no tenía fuerza so, después tenían que subirla tenían que subirla en forklift y eso se tardó un poquito más y por pues, la troca tuvo fuera pues allá llueve todos los días y estuvo sin cofre So, yo no sé si eso pudo haber ocasionado que a lo mejor se haya quemado otra, otra cosa, pero este, so, ahorita le están, le están checando lo que... Sí, no, no, vamos a asegurar el problema. Ok, eso es lo de menos, ¿verdad? Sí, no, este... Tenemos al electricista perro aquí. Sí, está bueno. Y uh, ahorita también, uh, ya cuando él ya figura el, el problema, voy a empezar a, a ver cómo anda todo ya en la computadora. Ok. Mm -hmm. Pues nada más hicimos un burnout, leve. Mm -hmm. Y de volar se metió las llantas en qué, Frank? 30, 30 seconds? Ya, yeah, give it. Algo así, ya. Bien corto. Ah, sí. Piso, o sea, de volar se las metió. 30 yeah. seconds el burnout. Y luego we, le cambiamos las llantas, arreglamos la troca de Freddy para que pudiera quemar llantas. Y luego cuando quisimos ir round 2, ya fue cuando le pisé, se colió y luego se apagó. Sí. Y, y luego de ahí, pues nosotros le sacamos, agarramos unos wires y la corrimos directo para ver si era la pompa, pero la pompa agarraba presión. Y al último nos, nos dimos por recién. Estuvimos ahí, ¿qué? 4 o 5 horas, ¿verdad? ¿no? Yeah. Long time. Literally. Por favor, si nosotros no sabemos ni nada de este pedo. Este, pero nomás quería, quería mover la troca. Ya tenía un mes que no miraba, ya la extrañaba la güey. Ya la extrañaba. Y eso que, que, que le digo a la raza yo, que a veces dura aquí dos, tres meses y no, no se me hace como que la extraño. Es que está en el corner. Porque si yo sé que está aquí, pero saltando ya abandonada, dije, y que sí, su madre, sí. que está que si no regresa a la troca o algo, no sé. Este, lo único que sí sé es de que tuvieron que pagar más. Los va la gente de Puerto Rico para poder subirla al contenedor con Forklift. Ah. Porque era es otro tipo de proceso, es otro tipo de, de shipping and handling. Sí. It's not, you know, drive it in there. It's, it's, I actually put it, got it by a container and uh, a freight or whatever. Ah. Pero, por lo bueno es que ya está aquí. The pits? Uh, US Customs? Oh, yeah. Uh, they, they're interested in the truck. Sí, <laughs> <laughs> April 5th weekend, probably. Sí, en una, sí, eh, como en una, una semana, una semana y media. No, oh, tenemos tiempo. Sí, 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 sí. sí. So, ya que la tengan lista más o menos, pues hay que calarla, hay que, sí. darle, hay que darle tronco un rato y luego ver que nada falla y ya podemos ir a, a, a cualquier show y checamos ese pedo. Ya que tenemos tiempo, vamos a figurarle la pompa esa. Dijeron, dijeron que habían tenido el, el... Habían agarrado un módulo para la electric sí, power. Sí, ya, 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 okay. ya lo tenemos. Bueno, ahorita que tenemos tiempo, we can probably ah, bueno. try that out. Pero no le quiten eso. Déjale la pompa esa. Ok. Nada más pongan el otro belt. ¿Sí se puede o no? Sí, le podemos sacar la vuelta. Ya, yeah, yeah, le sacamos la vuelta a la... A la con a otro, la, la con otro. libre. Sí, yeah. pero, pero por si no jala o por si ando en un show y se, se quema esa madre, nunca sabes, nada más podemos sacar la otra veo, conectamos y movemos allá cosillas. Este. A ver. Aquí está mejor así. Y los abanicos están en todo tapa ahí. Eso es lo que hacía cuando poníamos llave y pupo y luego se prendían y se apagaban, se prendían y se apagaban. I'm happy that this truck looks just like the way we left it. You know, there's a little bit of rust here and there. Not too bad, but I've been missing this truck. I don't know. It's and it's probably the cheapest build that we got. Too. It is. It's the shittiest truck. Oh, bro, I was gonna say all that. It, it's shitty, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's because you can always like the steaks and the fancy dinners, but siempre te gustan frijolito con arroz y con, con tacitas de charro beans. Sí, and all te gustan las de maíz y esta es esta es una de ellas, güey. ¿Sí me entiendes? It's a taco truck. Yeah. Nada, es que el peor, güey, que estás aburrido en el taller y luego, eh, pues vamos a sacar la tecachi, calientes la plaza, empiezas a pasar los chotas y ahí estamos. And that's what it is. And right now we ain't got shit. Yeah, there's no, there's no action. 420's in the back, though. Mm. Right Blow that thing up. <laughs> I want to race perrillo with the Shelby truck. Oye, okay, ¿qué onda yeah. con la roja? La GMC. ¿Ya quedó? Sí. ¿Ya quedó? Bueno, ahí más o menos. Los vatos eh, me sí. hablaron y me dijeron que ya me le, le, le agregaron unas partes que ocupaba ahí. Se las agregaron y ya aprendió. Miré un video, me mandaron un video. So voy por ella el otro fin de semana. Y luego me la traigo para acá porque la, la terminen de, de tunear ahí. Bien. Este, pero si mira bien. ¿Sí lo miro o no? Vi ahí un aerofiel. Sí, sí, sí. Voy a subir un, un video en YouTube. Eh, big shout out to my boys. Boost District, they put a supercharger 2650 on the GMC Turbo Sierra, but it ain't turbo no more. Supercharged. So yeah, that truck was here for a long time. We got rid of the turbo. We want to put a supercharger. So that's why we took it over with my boys at Boost District. And we will be picking that truck up the following week. And then we're taking the blue one, the manual truck, so they can put an LSA supercharger. And then we'll bring the red one back and then maybe race Perreo. Or Machete. What you think? I don't know about Machete, but first Perreo, we'll see how it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. Perreo's gonna beat us. Yeah. Perreo, Perreo needs a tune, right? You need to tune and... What you need on your truck, Perreo? Which way to not? Tune and night. 
Ah, no quiere tronarlo, sabes que va a mandar la verga. Nada, nada, bueno. Es ready at the thousand, tomorrow. Si, también me dijeron lo mismo y tronar la verga. No, esto sí, es Do we need no, to take, hey, you. get the jack, Alex. It's all rusted too, the wheels on there. Get the, get the jack, get the, vamos a quitarle todo el mugrero aquí. What happened to all the merch that was in there? Did yeah, it make no. it back? Yeah, it's already back. Okay. But I stole this AutoZone basket from yeah. Puerto Rico. Damn. That's memories. <laughs> memories. Yeah. Don't it? Yeah. Good wipes. <laughs> Two wipes. <laughs> yeah, those are man wipes. Bro, we showered with those over there. We did. What's up, bud? What's up? Anybody home? What's up, sir? What's up, dog? Boys got everything in stock. What size are these? These are 17 by 10s for a Ford. 17 by 10s. Ooh. Should we buy some already? This food. Oh, I'm not gonna say it yet. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it would look nice. Or these. And he's got a little bit of bloom. Bro, those are sick. I would even rock those on the car. This is 4 2, right? Yeah. 17? Those are real nice. Oh my god. We can do this for the Shelby? Oh, but no some B lock. Yeah. Here's B lock. Yeah. This is like walking in the shoe store. Mm. Like when you walk in the Foot Locker or Chat. You just for feet era, right? Just for feet? Yeah. What's that? Yeah. That's oh. an old ass store? Oh. Fuck. So that show me. También perro, va. Son of a bitch. So, ¿Y todos son B-Lux? No, nomás son dos. That's a for two wheel drive. Pero tienes cuatro B-Lux? No, no tengo esos. Nomás tienen dos. It's for a customer. He wants the, the not, he wanted those for the front and then those for the rear. Oh. What about the, the B-Lux? Esos también es para una troca que estamos acá atrás. Oh, bueno, I was about to buy them both. ¿De ese mismo color o qué? Sí. Los que sean los tuyos, bueno, bueno. Pero Nito, Nito, que sean todos bilac. Nito cuatro. Esos tienen, esos esos son cuatro bilac. Cuatro bilac. Sí, esos sí los tenemos. Oh yeah. Huh? The rears are 15s. That's the thing. No, no, they gotta be 17s. All the way around, para no cortar, para no hacer mucho corte. But when do you need them? By yesterday. By yesterday. When do you need this stuff, bud? Tomorrow, today, now. Come on, man. White boys work fast, don't they? Beto, pasa la feria. No, estos, estos se tardan mucho en agarrar. Como esos. Pero chécale, 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 chécale. Chécale, chécale, chécale. Carrillo knows this store real well. He's always here, huh? He's always here. Part-time job, bro. Part-time job. <laughs> We're the only shop that carries that. Eh? We're the only shop that carries that. What is that. this? It's a build one, build motor. FFRE? Para los new ones, para 21 Plus. Es el stock 5.0 Slit? Este para la Shelby. Just food. That's why I didn't want to come over here. Yeah. That's why I was going to send Perrillo just to pick up something, pick up the motor, and we're out here just buying fucking wheels and motors. I'm going to talk to Rosa because I need that, that 5.2. No, para eso. No, pero para la, para la Rebel. Yeah. Perrillo. Perrillo. Okay. Perrillo que no hace caso. ¿Por qué? ¿Qué es el Perrillo? Nah, pues ya sabes. <laughs> <laughs> so my boy Rosa was actually at the party in Florida. How does everything everything run good? Everything was all right? That was cool. The purple truck is fast. Yeah, that's quick. That's a new truck. I've never seen that yeah, one that before. Yeah, that one just came out. And then the King Ranch, that motherfucker sounds like F1. What you do, <laughs> what you do to it? Nah, no, that one got a new motor. A new oh, line block from no. right We're waiting for a while. Uh, we How dropped long, it in. Huh? How long does that one take to come? In. That one, we ordered it in... September, October. Oh, a couple of months. And literally it got here the day before we left. Okay. So we like dropped it in, turned it on, made a hit. So if you were to order another motor, how long, how, do you, how long do you think we? Probably about three, four months. Takes that long? Yeah. I got this one right there too. What is this? That's a RPG. No, 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 I want it for you. <laughs> it sounds different. Yeah. Cause OJ, Gringo, all of them got the RPG no, motors, right? Uh, even Freddy, right? No, he has an for you now. Well, he had an RPG. We swapped the short like he was having a little blow by. Okay, so okay, okay. That's why I remember we raced to blue seals. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It, Okay. It, so he got an FFRE sleeve. Sleeved already. Oh, yeah. okay. But he don't have the one on the King Ranch. No, no. He's just a 5-0. Yeah. 
Uh, sleeve door ring, stock heads, and stock okay. hands. I need the one on the, the king ring. Yeah. <laughs> so we can, we can, no, 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 no. We're not gonna take it out. This is basically the same, but it's aluminum rod motor, copper gasket, top your hoop, but RPG. So it's the, same, it's the exact same motor, just RPG. But so it doesn't sound like, it doesn't. I, I don't know how to So <laughs> who has this motor? Nobody. OJ? Gator? Nobody they, has. They, they all have, I think. They have an RPG. It's a SL50, it's a 5.2, no? This is 5.2, but they all have the like 300M rod. Okay. This is an aluminum rod. I wish I could flip it for you, but it's an yeah. aluminum rod motor. It's ready for like 25 or 3,000. There's yeah. more in stock, Beto. You look at the Lomandi. Yeah, and it's a copper gasket motor, so it's not a regular MLS gas. You can probably see it. Let me play that. It's copper gasket, top your hoop. Ah. This, is, this is actually See. this is actually for my purple truck. Okay, okay. But I'm okay. putting a, that truck pretty much I sold it already. Yeah, yeah. And I'm putting just a 5.2 short block, like oh. a, a regular billet I beam rod. Oh, okay, motor. okay, okay, okay. And then this one was supposed to be for that one, but it got here after too late basically. I just got it last week when we took out to Florida. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Me cayó the next day. I think we need to order the other one. Yeah. And then you know what I mean? And then meanwhile we can put the little 5.0. We, we just you. messed it up on King Ranch. That's the same one. Oh, okay, Pero, okay. I mean, that's what we're gonna yeah, 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 we can use it for a couple of months and then put that big that because that truck that was the yeah. best sound. sounding Ford in property. And we were from far away. He was doing a burnout over there, and that motherfucker sounded real nice. Yeah, como un pinche, I don't know, F1 car. I don't know. It sounded different. Exotic. Exotic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I said, yeah. Well, like the high RPM. I guess it was. Yeah. Uh, and I was like, okay, that one has a different motor. That one. So, so basically, the other one compared to this one. Uh, obviously FFRE, but that one's the GT350 heads. Okay. This is a Gen 3 5 head. Oh, so, okay, okay. Uh, the heads are different, and obviously the cams, they have their own custom specs. That's why, that's why, you, that's why yours sounds different. Yeah. But we are here to pick up the OG motor. If you guys remember where well, we got the OG still at Fat Fabs, we are gonna be picking up the motor. We ended up uh, refreshing the motor, putting a Kong blower on it. Yeah. You refresh the tranny and stuff like that. So, uh, where's it at? I wanna see it. It's in the back. And then you also put uh, like a pulley kit, right? Yeah, the Wagner accessory kit. Uh, we'll go check it out. Are you gonna do both? Yeah. Well, that's what my wants to do. <laughs> I'm like, shit, it is. That'd be cool. If you know how to work it, well, then yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure I'll do work. something. I just wanna do something. I thought about it, but like, man, I feel like you have a heat soak issue. You got turbos, you got a blower. Yeah. It's like IT. Too much, yeah, yeah. Too much shit. Up that, yeah. It's gonna look cool, though. Yeah, yeah, it'll be for sure. Yeah. Oh, shit. Damn. This motherfucker looks like an LT5, LT4. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is a 6.2. therapy started, though. Boost cam, and this thing used to have a pro charger. And now we're running a Kong blower. So we got the Kong, and then my boy Russell hooked it up with the Wagner accessory kit. So it has, how many belts it has? So it's a six rib for your accessories, and then you have your dedicated A rib just for the blower. Okay. It's separate, separately. Okay. So two belts. Yeah, two belts. Two belts. Yeah, you got so we belts. shouldn't have any issues with belts falling off with the supercharger. Nah, 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 nah. Especially being an A rib, and then we got the grip tech pulley. So okay. It's like the oh. one that has the grip on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then obviously it's big, so it should have enough surface to not slip or not have any issues at all, really. Do they have another belt, which is the green one? They do have the issue belt, yeah. And and that one, it's a little bit better than this one. Um. Or what do you think? Yeah, but I, I think for the amount of boost, it shouldn't make much boost because of the upper pulley. Uh, the amount of boost you're running, it shouldn't be an issue. I'm Usually right? you start running into belt slip issues when you start getting into the smaller side. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You have left surface touching your belt, so you have more slip. So this is like around, it's gonna have like around eight pounds. Uh, I think like eight, 10 pounds. Eight to I, 10 pounds, okay, perfect, yeah, perfect. I got the big, it's a four, <laughs> no, 3.5, yeah, so it's a bigger one. You yeah, can yeah. put a 3 or something. Like yeah, that. we don't need, we don't need a lot and of pounds. And it's 11% lower, so it's ready to <laughs> okay. just swap the okay, okay, okay. top one. But like I said, once you're, as soon as there was a part, we did have the studs, so. The studs, and then what you do to the heads? You didn't. The heads were resurfaced. Okay, resurfaced. resurfaced. Make sure they're nice, straight, okay. clean. Uh, got them washed off. Las cortates or no? Yeah, just cut them like 5,000. Okay, okay. Just to okay. make sure they're it's a nice straight surface. Okay, okay. New set of gaskets, all that stuff. Dolcho. Este, so pretty much refresh the engine. New, the lift, heads. new lifters, uh, all gaskets, seals, todo está, está pretty much fresh. So it shouldn't have any. This thing is going to sound really nice. Gaskets, gaskets todo está. And okay. then what else? We're not missing anything. Or what are we missing? No, that gasket that we're missing, I ordered it. It's exactly on there. Okay. Yeah, it's like a little green gasket. 
Y luego eso, the, we put, we gotta put the bolts on this thing, ¿verdad? Yeah, the hardware have it on it. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so it's just really, gotta put a, uh, drop it in there, you know. We might paint this blue, right? To match the truck and the valve cover. Yeah. What you think, Craig? Yeah, so it can flow real nice. Yeah. But the red would look good too. Yeah. I talked to Fat Fabs yesterday, Jake. We're gonna go to SEMA with the OG. So it's gonna be a comeback. We're going to SEMA, so this thing's gonna look real nice once we pop hood. Everything's gonna be nice on that truck. Everything's gonna be brand new. So yeah, this is a badass setup that we got going on. Uh, 6.2 with a Kong blower. It should sound really nice. It did have a boost cam on it, so it had a nice chop. So yeah. And I ordered this Kong blower a long time ago before we started fucking with Boost District. So that's why we're not using a Boost District on this one. We got the Kong blower, which they're known to perform really well, right? Yeah, they're, they're good blower. Y la, y la transmisión la tienes? Yeah, for lady. Está por ahí. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Me traigo la, la mamalona para acá. Para subir el motor. Sí, güey. Este es el Alex. The trans is on the, actually the trans. What you, what you working on here? You got a bunch of cars. Shelby. Damn, look at the plates. This one? <laughs> Damn! <laughs> I'm gonna have to break here. Uh, the QRX over here. <laughs> <laughs> doing this one? Just uh, doing post all the way. It's uh, who bolt on? Yeah, the 10 rib shit. Okay. Trans converter, lockers, fuse. We're redoing the fuse system. Okay. Injectors, pretty much redoing the whole truck. So it should make a thousand. Thousand horsepower? Kind of like the black one. The C. C, C, the Manuel. Nice. That one, and then. We're whipping this one, whipping that one. All right, Freddy. You got a Shelby too, right? Two. Stock. Stock, stock, stock. I'm about to. You're about to? Yeah, I'm about to turbo it on you. I'm put a blower off mine. You put a different blower or what? Or no, you want no, to I'm twin turbo? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Straight now that we got a Shelby, I feel like I see them more and they're getting more more popular. But that's how it is though, when you have. But when you, I've you noticed, it, I've noticed that everybody wants a Shelby now. Yeah. Did you know that they're not making them anymore? Yeah, they stopped 23. 23. Right. I wonder how it would look with the new front end. I think it would look pretty nice. But yeah, the 23 was the last year they came. Yeah, that's what they told us, and that's why we ended up buying that black one. And then Jaime called me. He's like, hey, can hey, you want me Yeah, give me a Shelby too. <laughs> yeah. I was like, okay, I'm on. You know what I'm saying? Shelby plug, now, now I'm up. Yeah, now I sell cars. Now I sell <laughs> trucks. Yeah. But yeah, but the Shelbys are kicking off right now. Yeah. because they're cool trucks. They got nice wheels. They got a nice stands it's just, just a cool truck and then besides that they don't make them anymore so yeah. it's kind of like a special edition you know what i mean yeah. a lot of people were complaining about like how expensive they were but then again it's like yeah it's just a, like they're like oh it's just a truck with a whip yeah but it really looks different it looks different than the it looks different than the, than the regular one yeah, yeah yeah we're actually picking up a 24 today oh yeah shit. we're gonna go pick it up right now we're not 24 azul. Azul. that's why i'm looking for rims is it the blue the not like yours. blue you saw those series four with the blue yeah, it's a little bit yeah, like, i want basically i want to get the same one with the blue same i'll show you right now it's a blue but it's not like your shelby blue it's a dark dark blue and it's not the dark blue either it's a light Blue. Uh, okay, okay. So it's not like yours, right? It's hard to tell because it's light right there and it looks darker back there. We're gonna go check it out right now and see how it is. So that's why I need some rims. But I like about those the whole interior with the whole digital. With the, with the big screen. Yeah, with the bigger screen and digital cluster on the 24s. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna try to pimp them out and shit. We're gonna try to, you know, do some put back shit with that one. So I tell them alone ahora the money tamos un un equipo para cargar el motor. That's why I brought all the gorillas. <laughs> yeah, here okay. you I'm the gorilla. Bro. You're the gorilla. You're the chimpanzee. You know chimpanzees are stronger than gorillas. Is it really? <laughs> yeah, look it up. <laughs> Read a book. Read a book for <laughs> me. Dogs don't count. Dogs go to heaven. Ain't that an SPM song? See. No, See. movie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you saw this week's goal? <laughs> it just depends on what car, because that motherfucker got fast cars. Yeah. You got tiny? Okay. This one's forged, this one's forged. You can see right here. Okay, this is forged. So, yeah, take the forged one. Okay. <laughs> Esta... Yeah, that's forged too, no? This is yeah, forged. Yeah, that's forged. forged. But what is this? Uh, let me see if this is... Let me see. This is the driver's... No, this is the passenger side. This is the passenger side too. So that's the 
driver's side. This has to be forged. Yeah, yeah this one's forged. Okay. They are carbon fiber, but we got the forge. So we're making Red Bull. If you guys remember well, we got Red Bull at Skinny Man's. We actually bought a motor here from my boy Russell, which is a 5.0 sleeved. And we are getting putting that motor on the Red Bull with the twin turbo setup, of course. I think we're going for hundred and butic. Yeah, yeah, the whole nine yards. But we need to talk about that other engine because I want that other engine too. That motherfucker sounds good. How much horsepower does that one hold? 3,000. 3,000, God. Damn. That's the same motor that the green car has, right? Exactly. That car runs 620s and a quarter. That's why we want to get that motor. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, I think he's like on 58 or 60 pounds of boost or something. There you go. All the boost. All right, bro. Oh, yeah, I'll talk to you about this for the motor and tell me. Okay, okay, I'll give him a call. And then tell me. Tell me, tell me, what? Tell me, like, get it, like, this is my time. Papa, pa, 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 mandar un down payment, si, lo, ya, ya, que lo empiecen a hacer. Okay, let me know. Hey, that AutoZone basket better not fall. Yeah, let the motor fall, but not the basket. Oh, man, that basket has. <laughs> And that is pretty much it for today's video. You know what I'm saying? I just want to give you guys an update on Takashi truck and on the OG. The OG is still in Fat Fabs. Takashi is probably done here in the next couple of days. So can't wait to go do some burnouts. Right now, we got a little trip to Crosby. So we're going to be pimping out the giveaway truck. Remember, this giveaway truck is live right now. We're running this thing for two weeks. It started yesterday, Monday, March 25th. And we're gonna run it all the way to April the 7th on a Sunday, 11.59 p.m. Central Time is the deadline. You got two weeks to get into this badass truck. Now, I see some comments that you guys want the trailer. Y'all can't even drive this big ass trailer, nor have space for it. I think you need a CDL because it has three axles and it's a uh, over the weight limit. So you need a CDL to drive this trailer, I think, I'm not sure. Maybe next time, not right now. Maybe next time i don't think everybody needs a trailer this big maybe a single car hauler but not this big ass train and actually i like this trailer so i'm keeping it but giveaways live right now go get your shirt go get your decals you can probably take this badass truck home or fifty thousand dollars we'll see you guys tomorrow